Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Cars and Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate running uh, Windows Windows Server 2016 upgrade. So currently I have my SSCM server is running on um, operating system 2012. Let's see here, go to system. As you can see, it's 2012 R2 and my SCM configuration manager I'm running is 1906. So I don't want to um, have to install SCM on a on a different operating system. I just want to do an in-place upgrade, see if it's going to break my SCM site servers. So this is just an experiment um, I'm doing. I'm not sure if SCM still works after the upgrade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install Silver 2016 on this computer. Let's get started. Run setup. I'm going to download and, and install updates. So I can, not right now, but I'm going to download the latest updates. Click next. I'm going to choose the standard desktop experience. Click on accept. It's going to keep personal files and apps. So if you choose the second options, it will delete everything out, even the apps and settings. So I'm going to choose the first option, click next. All right, so here's some information that you need to confirm. What needs your attention? The following will need, the following things need your attention to continue and install. Continue the installation and keep your Windows settings, personal files, apps. You can, okay, there's an option. You can change what to keep. Okay, click back. Oops. I guess I cannot go back. Oh man, I got to start all over. So I shouldn't have to do that. Um, all right, I'm going to pause the recording and um, I'm not going to do that again. So like I said, this is the experiments only. See if it works. All right, now it came back. So I'm going to click confirm. It just says that Microsoft did not re recommend the upgrade. They want you to do a clean install. So click confirm. Ready to install. We had 5% complete, 6%. We are at 38% complete. All right, it just rebooted. I'm going to click accept. Going to log in. <clears throat> Let me RDP in.
All right, look like it's finished. Let's take a look at the control panel. I should have Windows 2016 now. Let's go to system. Yep, 2016. Now let's take a look at the uh, configuration manager. All right, look like SCCM console is open. Let me click on monitoring to see if there are any errors. Let's go site system, uh, system status, site components. I got a lot of error on these management points, software update point, and state migration point. Let's see the component status. Well, the W says I'm, I'm having issues since the beginning, so I need to fix that later. Let's go back to management point. So I don't see any issues with my management point. So 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 far so good. You should be able to um, do an in-place upgrade with the existing configuration manager install in your environment. So, but at least I'm gonna need to do another uh, further testing on um, software deployment, test sequence deployments and all that stuff, but everything else, I, it seems that um, I don't see any critical errors. Um, this is just the old errors that when it first came up. It should refresh. So that's it, folks. This is for the, uh, it's just an experiment only. So if you want to try, make sure you back up your SCCM server or the database before you do an in-place upgrade on your operating system. Thank you for watching and have a great day.